So welcome to the Shop Integrator Shipping Manager tutorial that will show you how to add shipping costs to your shopping cart checkout. Once you use the Shipping Manager to create and activate shipping plans, your shopping cart will automatically gain a new um, step in the checkout process that will collect uh, the information necessary to calculate the shipping costs from your shopper. So you can get to the Ship Manager through here off the Shop Admin homepage, through the quick button here from anywhere with the Shipping button, or from the Shipping and Delivery Manager menu for Shipping Manager. On a new account, when I first go to the Shipping Manager, you'll see that it's saying I have no zones. And a delivery zone is a way to group countries that need to have the same shipping costs together into a common um, group and that group is called a delivery zone. Even if you only intend to ship and deliver to one country you still need to create a delivery zone and put the country into that delivery zone because shipping plans are created against delivery zones and not directly against individual countries. So we can click through to the delivery zone manager uh, here because it's telling us we need to create some delivery zones or the same can be reached from the shipping and delivery menu to go to the delivery zone manager here. So when I come to the delivery zone manager we can create our own zone numbers and I'm going to start with one and I'm just going to call that the home region. So these are descriptions for me to know what um, that particular delivery zone group is for. I'm going to create another zone, I'm going to call it number two and I'm going to call it um, Europe and I'll use that to group the um, countries in Europe that will have the same delivery costs together and I'm going to create number three I'm going to call that rest of world. So these are my uh, delivery zones so I can click to assign destinations which will allow me to assign the um, country destinations into these different um, delivery zones these groups uh, but the same page can also be reached from here the shipping and delivery zone destination group manager so by clicking on that this will now allow me to put my countries into these different groups these delivery zones that I've created so here are all the countries that I um, uh, have enabled in my checkout now if you don't need all of these countries and you don't want someone in one of these countries to be able to um, check out and buy from you then if you leave them in this default zone zero then they will be able to pick that country in the checkout and go through your checkout without um, it calculating the shipping cost because the shipping costs will be calculated off the zones that you created so what you need to do is you need to go to your shipping and delivery menu to country manager and we're going to switch off all of the countries that we are not intending to sell to and instead um, therefore we won't be needing to put shipping costs against them. So by default all of the countries um, are active in the system. The default country is the country that um, you registered against when you um, set that up, when you, when you registered your account. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start by unticking all the countries for my needs and just for the purpose of the demo I'm going to select a few countries that I will um, sell to. So let's have Denmark and France to have a few Germany European countries and we'll have Italy and let's also put in um, the United Kingdom and let's put in Australia and we'll also put in New Zealand. So once I've chosen all the countries that I wish to sell to, I'm going to save all changes and now only those countries will appear in the checkout. Um, but also when we go back to the zone destination group manager, the list of countries we need to assign to our delivery zones are now just the countries that we've said that we are selling to. So I'm going to put Australia and New Zealand, let's put that into 
zone three, the rest of the world. So we're clicking them in here and clicking zone three. They will move into. Oh, hold on. They will move into the uh, zone three list. And I'm going to click the country to move now into the Europe. So I want to do that as zone two. And Italy, United Kingdom, Denmark, France, and United States. I'm going to put in my the zone I've called my home zone. So now I have um, placed the countries into the different zones. Um, I'm going to save all changes for that. So if I need to move a country between the different zones, I click on it in where it is. And I'll say we'll assign that to zone one, and it moves from the zone three into zone one. But that's not what I actually need it, so I'm going to move it back. There we go. So now my countries are grouped into delivery zones. Now we can go on to the shipping and delivery menu, and now the shipping manager is offering me a type or the types of shipping plans that we can create. So this is the end of the um, introductory video to shipping plans. There are other introductory tutorials for each of the different shipping plans that you can create. So please check out your uh, video tutorials for further um, tutorials. Thank you. Bye.